la pia. Tila, tila, pibia. Uh. Uy, cara. Hola, la piori. Relax. Oh yes, oh my God, that's a big tilapia. What's up guys, Ricky over here. Before I show you my cash, I wanna show you the rig that I was using, the bait that I was using. Uh, I'm gonna give you a couple tips, so stay tuned for that. Okay, you wanna use a small reel. I was using two reels. One was a little too big, was a little overkill. It was a 5,000 uh, Zaragoza, Shimano Zaragoza, and I was also using the one that I highly recommend, which is Shimano Stratic 3000. It's a small reel, super light, super small, for the rod, you want to use a light rod over six foot, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, will get the job done. If it's smaller or bigger, it will also work. It's just tilapia. Action, I like the action to be fast. I want that tip to be a little hard, medium to heavy. That's the rods that I like to use, but any rod will get the job done. The line that I was using and the line that I like to use for inshore and fresh water, of course, is braid. With braid, you're gonna be able to cast, in my opinion, way further. Um, and I think it will cut to the grass much better. 15 to 20 pounds braided line, 15 to 20 pounds monofilament or fluorocarbon, it's up to you what you wanna use. A little barber, you're gonna need a bullet sinker, right? You're gonna need a bullet sinker and of course, a hook. Barber, just medium size, a small barber. Bullet sinker, I don't, I'm not sure how many ounces this is, but well, you guys can take a guess. It's kind of small. I'm gonna put it in my hand so you guys can see how big it is. It's kind of small. You can do a little bigger, a little smaller. Mostly we need the sinker to be able to cast further. So that's why, that's the main reason why you wanna use the sinker. And also, the sinker will get your bait all the way down. It's gonna be a straight. But you don't really have to use a sinker if you're gonna be able to cast without it. And if you can cast far enough, if you want to still want to use a sinker, try to use a little one. I was using this big sinker to be able to cast further, and the tilapia didn't even care. How far you want your barber from the hook, it all depends how deep is where you're fishing. You want to keep that bait real low, but not all the way at the grass. Because it will work, the tilapia will get all the way at the bottom. Some people fish it without, uh, without the barber, but it will get stuck a lot. So you want to try to keep the bait as close as the bottom of you can, really close of the bottom. Very important is the hook. Make sure to use a hook that has what they call bait holder. If you don't know what that means, bait holder is will be on the hook, it will have a couple little spikes. Those little spikes are for, in this case, we were using worms. When you get, when, whenever you get warm inside the hook, it won't slip out, it won't, it won't get out. So you make sure to use, bait. let me show you the ones that I was using. They're called bait holder hooks. These are size two. I was using size two, but you can go a little bigger, a little smaller, it's up to you. But make sure it says this right here, bait holder. Again, bait holders, they, what they have is a couple little spikes on the hook that will hold your bait in place. And yes, you heard right, we were using worms. A lot of people think that tilapias are vegetarians or something like that. They only eat grass and, and corn and uh, I don't know, apples, <laughs> whatever you guys think they eat. They love worms. A lot of people go like, really, worms? No, yeah, they eat worms, they love worms. But yes, worms, they love worms. What you wanna do, if the bite is slow, you wanna get a whole worm or a long worm, a long piece inside your hook, just put it inside, the hook will hold the bait and get some extra just to get the bite going. Once you find the tilapias, when the bite is going fast and good, just bait the hook. Just a little piece of worm inside the hook, it will get the job done. I'm not as an expert on fresh water, I'm mostly a salt water guy, but in my experience, they do not bite really well early in the morning. They like, once the sun starts coming out, 
that's when the bike gets on fire at least in my experience again i'm not a professional freshwater fisherman mostly i do salt water permits one of the things that i fish the most and offshore but i also do fresh water when the times like it is in these days that we have really bad weather so i'll fish fresh water for bass or whatever guys i really hope this video was helpful if it was please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't i'll see you in the next what the hell is this that's a big fish that's a big fish <laughs> come with daddy come with daddy tilapia yes sir eh, it's not that big oh it's not small Nice size tilapia. Look at that. <laughs>